Hi everyone, Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Jai Madhadi. Today's video is very important because we are going to talk about Merchant Navy versus Oil Rigs. If you haven't seen my first video, where I'm telling you about Oil Rigs, what are Oil Rigs, what is their function, Oil Rigs offshore, what are Oil Rigs onshore, what are they made, what are they made, watch that video first. And next is, let's compare Merchant Navy and Oil Rigs and see how the past was, how the present was and how the future was. So without wasting any time, Qualifications if you want to join Merchant Navy through GP rating 10th or 12th pass Jai Mata Di. After 12th you can join through Diploma in Nautical Science, BSc in Nautical Science 3 year course, BTEC Marine Engineering 4 year course. If you are from Electrical Department you can become a ETO or if you are from Mechanical Engineering you can do Graduate Marine Engineering and join Merchant Navy as well. So these are a few important ways that you can join Merchant Navy after class 12th or graduation. When it comes to oil rigs, it is 10th pass, 12th pass, ITI pass, diploma, BTEC and for ONGC if you want to work, you have to clear the gate exam. Copy it. Let's move ahead. Certificates for merchant, if you want to join merchant, the basic certificates required are STCW certificates, that is International Convention on Standards of Training, Certification and Watchkeeping for Seafarers. Then CDC you require, that is Continuous Disaster Certificate. Then COC, that is Certificate of Competency which is for officers and engineers and SID, the latest requirement that is Seafarer's Identity Card. On the other hand, certificates required for working on oil rigs. One is BOSIAT, that is Basic Offshore Safety Induction and Emergency Training, uh, which should be operator approved. Second is Helicopter Underwater Escape Training. Third is Hydrogen Sulphide Training. Last is Medical, which should be again operator approved. Copied. Merchant Navy again, you have to, you have to join. Uh, from becoming a deck cadet or engine cadet if you want to become a master or a chief engineer it takes around 18 to 8 to 14 years depending on the kind of company that you're selling with and the kind of ship that you're selling in so you start as a deck cadet or engine cadet then you become a third officer fourth engineer second officer third engineer then chief officer a second engineer then you become a chief engineer or captain on a bulk carrier salary can be from 8000 10000 dollars a month on a tanker it can go up to 9000 to 14000 dollars a month on a lng carrier it can go up to 18000 dollars a month so that's what the captain, captains or a chief engineer salary on different shipping companies, in different shipping companies on different ships. Now let's talk about hierarchy and departments in offshore installation manager. So we have got a lot of departments over here. One is marine deck department. They have to take all rigs from one place to another, right? They also have to ensure that the rig, once the drilling starts, it stays at one place all the time. So that is marine deck department. It has got a captain, a chief officer, a DPOs, deck pushers, crane operators, Rasta boot for them. Another is marine engine department, chief engineer, second engineer, third engineer, motorman, working on the engineering part of the ship or the oil rig, I would say. Then is drilling department. It has a drilling supervisor, tool pusher, driller, assistant driller, derrick man, roughneck. So these guys are for drilling, right? Then is a mechanical department with senior mechanic, mechanic, assistant mechanic. Because there are a lot of other machineries apart from machineries required on ship in a rig. So we need mechanical department as well. Then because of a lot of electrical electronics and electrical equipments are there, we need electrical department which has got senior electrician, electrician, assistant electrician. And then we have sub department where we have a sub engineer, senior sub engineer, sub engineer, assistant sub engineer. These are the guys, those who lay the pipelines and do the initial work as well. Copied. So on a rig, we need a lots of people out here, a lots of hard work involved, uh, very uh, harsh conditions, lots of work. But yes, the money is also equally good or I would say was equally good. Let's just start. So how to join? Get sponsorship in Merchant Navy. How you can you get sponsorship before joining any training institute that is with DNS. If you go for BSc Nautical Science, join one of the best institutes and for that you need to subscribe Merchant Navy Decoded YouTube channel. Get placement from the institute, apply in the company's website. If you have campus placement, a great way to go ahead. So for Merchant Navy, all you have to do is you have to subscribe Merchant Navy Decoded. You have to trust us. Whatever we say, you do that. You are in safe hands. You will join the right college, the right company and a future secured. On the other hand, if you want to join oil rig, you have to apply on company's website, visit their office. If you have references, that is always very good. Join ONGC after clearing gate, but still depends on company to put on onshore or offshore and not just clearing gate. You need, it is joining a PSU. Your percentile in gate needs to be like 99.4, 99.3, very high percentage. The top notch people who qualify gate go into the ONGC. Copy it guys. So it's not easy. Similarities. Work is on ship surrounded by sea. So whether you are on an offshore oil rig or you are on ship, you are surrounded by sea and water. 
in oil rig it is a 12 hour work shift in merchant navy on normal days it's 8 to 10 hours work shift it's difficult in terms of work shift on oil rig so in case of both the cases similarities when you leave home your salary starts your salary starts the moment you leave home well in case of merchant navy actually when the moment you leave country your salary starts next physically very demanding challenging need to work with machines all the time and in all weathers rain minus 15 minus 10 50 45 whatever the temperature is you have to work no excuses next away from family yes in case of merchant navy it's a longer duration in case of oil rigs it is shorter duration but yes you have to stay away from family can stay at your native place because you are earning good you can stay in Dehradun and your work is on oil rig which can be in any location and you go there work and come back pop it so you can stay at your native place next salaries yes good NRA status if working in other countries and you stay outside India for 183 days in a financial year and that means tax free salary whatever you want that is tax which is a good amount pop it next Travel, hotel expenses provided by the company, food and lodging is provided by the company. Need to work with multicultural people. You learn, but it's a challenge as well. Differences. Overhead merchant, you spend four to eight months on ship and salary only while you're working. In case of oil rigs, it is normally 28 days on, 28 days off. 28 days on oil rig, 28 days home. Yes, and on some oil rigs, it is 42 days on, 42 days off. And on some, especially in ONGC, it is still 14 days on, 14 days off. Apart from that, for permanent people working on oil rigs, it is round their salary. Even in Merchant Navy for working company, uh, which take as permanent employees, you have got all their round their salary. Otherwise, we work on contractual basis. Okay, so that the amount, the time you are working on ship, you are getting salaries. But there are few companies where you work and when you are on land also, then also getting paid. Okay. Travel while working, yes, from one place to another, from one place to another, and then you get to travel as well and you work. Lot of exams for promotion, MEO class 4, MEO class 2, MEO class 1, second mate, chief mates, captain's exam, these are the exams that we give. On the other hand, we travel from one place to another, rigs are stationary at one place. Very few exams they have to give, mainly experience and course IWCF for promotions. This is one course that they, they have to do, that is IWCF. Salary. In case of Merchant Navy, your salary starts as a uh, say from a salary of three fifty to five hundred dollars as a deck cadet or engine cadet. It can go up to fourteen thousand or eighteen thousand dollars a month, depending on whether you are on a tanker or a gas carrier or a bulk carrier. Cop it, guys. But once you become a captain, it becomes constant. Once you become a chief, yeah, it becomes constant. In the last ten years, there has been hardly an increase in the salary in terms of dollars. It is just that in India, the dollar rate has increased in the last ten years. That is why we still feel that we are in the right profession we are running good else jai mata di ho jati cop it in case of merchant navy if you go for if you go want further growth go for shore jobs higher studies sky is the limit cop it in case of oil rigs switch company and salary is increased but depends on the oil rate ki bhaiya oil rate kya the oil rate is more that means your demand will be more because more and more oil rigs will be in use cop it but if oil rate is less per barrel, lot of oil rigs will say, hey, we cannot take out oil and sell at such a rate. So they close it. That means demand of people working on oil rigs reduces and suddenly the salary also reduces. That is what has happened in the past. If your good sky is the limit, 2012 to 2016 was the golden period for oil rigs. People were earning enormously high out there. Now salaries have decreased by 50%, which is unfortunately very bad. This way, Merchant Navy, our salaries have not increased, but at least they have not decreased as well. Let's move ahead. Salary of a Captain Chief in bulk carries is $10,000. Salary of a Captain Chief in LNG carries is $18,000 a month. Presently, salary of a Captain Chief in DP vessel is around $12,000 a month. Salary of a Senior sub -sea Engineer is now $12,000 a month. At the golden period, salary of a Senior sub -sea Engineer was $1,800 per day. From 2012 to 2016, they were earning around $1,800 per day, which makes it $15,000 a month. Can you imagine the amount? It was huge. But that period is unfortunately gone. So over here in Merchant Navy, you have fixed procedures for joining and promotions. Like you have to give the exams and then you get promotions. And you need to have a particular amount of sea time so that you can give these exams. 
after you clear your exams then you tell your company and as per your appraisal you get promotions in the shipping company that is what is happening over here in case of oil rigs iwcf course and exams it is the experience that matters in oil rigs let's move ahead less risk in ship yes there is a lot of risk involved in ship as well but when compared to oil rigs risk is less because over here you are working on a platform where the pressure in the pipelines is around 15000 psi which makes it 100 psi 6.9 bar 7 bar 150 into 7 makes it around 735 around 1000 bar pressure which is very very high it is very risky out here as compared to merchant navy ship again mobile poles are not allowed outside the uh, accommodation area on ships and even in the oil rigs yes you get very good internal facility on oil rigs and similarly it is improving on board ship as well slowly and steadily benefits long vacations in merchant navy temporary seniors and colleagues if you don't like someone you might not find him ever in your life again on some other ship you can travel to new places on the other hand benefits of joining oil rigs is in case of emergency you can come home more easily it is not like you are in the center of pacific ocean or something has happened at your home and you will take 10 days to come back home salary is higher than any land based rigs so yes today the salaries of merchant navy oil rigs are comparatively similar but there was a one time when they were much much higher but still while working on an oil rig if you are working on offshore oil rigs then your salary is more than when it is you are working on onshore oil rigs no need to stay away from family for a long time yes you stay away from family but over here it is 28 days or 42 days maximum out here it can be 4 months 6 months 8 months so it's it's overheads a lot jobs in oil rigs after merchant navy marine deck department you can join you can join marine engine department you can even join mechanical department or electrical department as well companies working in oil rigs bp shell chevron schlumberger baker hughes petrofac oil india limited ongc reliance gas as far as i know this is one of the finest shipping companies the highest paying one just sharing with you guys and with this all i can say is thank you very much there might be some mistakes in the oil rig section but from my and i can say our team has tried our level best to compare with an unbiased view thank you very much jai hind jai bharat jai mata